Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the less or equals function on Power Automate. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a variable of number, which is going to be an integer variable, and we're going to assign 5 to it. Then we're going to pass this variable into our less or equals function, and we're going to pass in another integer of 3 because we are going to check to see if our number of five is less than or equal to three. Now obviously five is not less than three and it's not equal to three, so what we're going to get back is a false. But what happens if it is equal to five? What do we get back? Let's take a look at that. So we're going to use the same variable and we're going to pass it into the same function, but this time we're going to compare it to five. Now obviously 5 is equal to 5, so when we actually pass in our variable and the integer of 5, when we're checking if 5 is less than or equal to 5, we will get a return of true, because our function is correct. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we are on the Power Automate website and we've got a manual trigger for our flow. We are then setting a variable of number which is an integer type to five. Then we're going to be using compose to actually run our function of less or equals. Now our first compose is going to check if our variable of five is less or equals to three. Then the second one will be checking to see if it is less or equal to five. And the third will be seeing if it is less or equal to seven. So let's give this a run. And let's just run the flow. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. You can see the trigger is triggered and our variable has been set. Now let's see what we get back in our first one. Okay, so we got a force back. Now why did we get a force? Because five is not less than or equal to three. So in the second one, we are checking to see if five is less than or equal to five. So we get a true back because five is equal to five. And then in the third, we are also getting a true back because five is less than seven. It's not equal to seven, but it is less than seven. So you have two variations. It's checking to see if it was less than or if it is equal to. And that is how you use less or equals on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.